Hello everyone, how are you today? So in lesson two, we've learned how to draw a scaled pict picture graph. Today we're gonna learn how to draw a scaled bar graph. First, let's understand what is a bar graph. A bar graph uses bars. Let's draw one bar together. That's a bar or that's a bar. That's a horizontal shape and that's a vertical shape. So a bar graph uses bars of different lengths or heights. So we can have this one or this one or this one. We have different heights or different lengths like here, like this or like that. Okay, these are all called bars. So a bar graph uses bars of different lengths or heights to show what? To show data. In grade two, you use the bar graph with a scale of only one. A scaled bar graph, what we, we are learning today, a scaled bar graph can use a scale greater than one. Before we start, again, this is a vertical bar and this one is a horizontal bar just remember this hand now open page 703 and let's go through example number one together milo surveyed five grades to find the number of may birthdays he recorded the data in a tally chart display the data in a vertical bar graph which one was a vertical bar, bar graph this one the one that looks like a tower this is a vertical bar now let's take a look at the tally chart we have here in the first grade there are five may birthdays in the second grade five ten eleven may birthdays in the third grade one two three may birthdays in the fourth grade one two three four in the fifth grade two may birthdays now we've known all the numbers on this tally chart now we need to draw a rectangle label the side and bottom of the graph to describe the information and we need to give the graph a title Let's take a look at the graph. Here, we need first a title. What was the title? Let's go back. The title was May Birthdays. So now let's write the title. May Birthdays is the title. Now let's take a look at the scale. We have a scale from 0 to 12. So the scale is not only one, the scale is from zero to 12. And the, this scale shows the number of what? It shows the number of students. So we need to label this part too, that it's the number of students. What about the other side of the graph? We have here first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. These are what? These are the grade in school. So these two labels are very important. It shows us here, these two labels on the sides, number of students, grade in school. Labels describe the information. These are very So after we've labeled and took a look at the scale, then the set of numbers that represent the data, we draw the bars. Look here. In the first grade, the bar is on number, it's between four and six, so it's on number five. What's, be what's the number between four and six? It's five, four, five, six. So the first grade, five students have May birthdays. In the second grade, the bar is again between 10 and 12, which is 11. So in the second grade, 11 has May birthdays. In the third grade, Again, the bar is between two and four, which is three. So in the third grade, three students have May birthdays. What about the fourth grade? The fourth grade is on number four. 
So four students in the fourth grade have May birthdays. And the last one in the fifth grade, only two students has May birthdays. Now, so each line, <clears throat> each line stands for two students. The rows are equal in, in a scaled bar graph. All the rows are equal and each line may represent more than one scale. For example, here, each line represents two students. It does not represent one, it represents two students. Now, turn the page to example number two. Demon surveyed his friends about their favorite summer sports, display their results in a horizontal bar graph. That's a horizontal bar graph. So in a horizontal bar graphs, the bars go from left to right, not from down to up like the vertical. No, they go from left to right. Now here, the tally chart, this tally chart shows us the data collected. We need first to write the frequency. So for the favorite summer sports, tennis has how many students? Or how many friends? One, two, three, four friends. For the swimming, five and five, ten. For the baseball, five, six, seven. For the biking, five, six. So now we've written the frequency of each summer sport. Now let's go through step by step to draw our scaled bar graph. First, we start by drawing and labeling. We draw a rectangle, label the sides and bottom of the graph to describe the information, give the graph a title. Here is the title, favorite summer sport. Here, tennis, swimming, baseball, biking. What are these? Sports. So we need to label everything. And down here we have the number of friends from 0 to 12. So each line represents how many friends to friends. Look here, it's 0, 2, 4, 6. We are skip counting by 2. So each line represents two friends. And we have equal columns. Now choose a scale. Write a scale on the bottom of the graph separated into six equal columns. Are these separated into six equal columns? Let's count the columns together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, they are separated into six equal columns. Now we need to draw the bars. Draw horizontal bars to match each number from the data. Let's take a look at the data here. For the tennis, we have four friends so here we're going to go to this is number four for the tennis we're going to go to number four this is our horizontal bar graph for the tennis now what about the swimming swimming had ten again we're going to draw a bar to number ten I want you to draw this in your book and highlight your bar. So for swimming, the bar is to number 10. What about baseball? Let's go back. Baseball was seven. So here we're going to draw a bar between six and eight because it's seven. Seven is between six and eight. So here is our bar for the biggest ball it represents seven friends what about the biking the last one how many friends six friends so again we're going to draw a bar to number six and highlight it so now our bar graph or horizontal bar graph is done We've understood what is a horizontal and vertical bar graph. 
Now let's solve number one in the guided practice. Number one is asking us to display the set of data from example two in a vertical bar graph. So we've done it in a horizontal bar graph. Now we want to do, do it in a vertical uh, bar graph. Tennis, how many friends voted for tennis? Let's take a look at this bar graph. Four friends. So here we're going to do four. To number four. Then highlight. You can use any color you want. Now let's go to swimming. How many voted for swimming? Ten friends. So we're going to draw. I can use a different color now. To number 10. You can use again any color you like or you want to use. And highlight it. For the baseball, how many students? It's between 6 and 8. So they are 7 students or 7 friends. So again, Let's draw also between 6 and 8. We draw from down to up because it's a vertical bar graph. And then we highlight it or color it. The last one, biking. How many friends voted for biking? Six friends voted for biking. So here we're going back to our bar graph. And we will draw to number six. It will be easier for you to look up in your book and just see the numbers. So now we're done with our vertical bar graph. What do I need from you now to answer my question? how a horizontal and vertical bar graphs are alike and how are they different i'm waiting for your answers on class dojo go solve page 705 in your book also send me the picture and don't forget your homework is on kahoot